Hi, Courtney. Hi, Robbie. How are you? Great. They weren't quite sure what to do. No. <laughs> they were confused, weren't they, there for a second? Anyway, let's take a seat. Welcome along. You look fantastic. Thank you. Congratulations. You've made history here tonight. Oh, yeah? Yeah, the first female to win Best Rock. Yeah. I, uh, is that, is that real? Apparently, yeah. That's great. <laughs> Come on. Come on. It's history. Because you were, um, I remember, a winner. Was it last year or the year before last? Was it last year? Yeah. And oh. you, you were overseas, I think. Uh, yeah, I was I was touring. It must have been uh, when the last album, maybe it was two years ago, yeah. last album I was touring. A um, lot. Yeah, yeah, which I secretly was really happy because I, I, I was glad I didn't have to get up and do speeches <laughs> and do things. You, yeah, you did really it well. Was, thanks. You did great. Um, it, Give us a little lowdown on the on, on 2018. I mean, the whole Courtney Barnett kind of phenomenon has been so extraordinary to, to witness from here around the world. Um, I guess it must have been even more amazing for you. You've been living it. Uh, yeah, I mean, we've been uh, touring a, a lot overseas and, and, you know, we did an Australian tour, which uh, at venues like the Sydney Opera House, which I grew up in Sydney, and um, as a as a little Sydney kid, that was a huge deal, obviously. And uh, and just um, playing these beautiful theatres around the world and big festivals, and um, yeah, it's been incredible. Yeah. Has it been enjoyable? It's been mostly enjoyable. Yeah. 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 It's quite a hard work. Though. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. And, and tell us about um, this great Kurt Vile character that you've been spending some time with making beautiful music too. Uh, Kurt uh, is, he's great. He's a, he's a songwriting hero of mine. And uh, so it was really nice to, to be able to get together and, and make music. And I mean, we kind of just planned to make one song and then we ended up making this this funny little uh, album and and then and then touring together and um, it was a it was an inspiring project I think because we didn't really plan it it just kind of great things kind of yeah. came together I, I guess that's kind of reflective of a lot of things that you've done though I mean it, it was listening to um, to Casey Chambers give that beautiful speech about just being yourself mm. and I, I I imagine for you that would resonated with you. Um, yeah, as a beautiful speech. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, I think. Um, I mean, I think the thing is that every artist, um, everyone does their own thing and follows their own. You know, whether it's like commercial or not commercial or whatever. And I, I, you know, I don't think that there's a right or wrong way of making music or being an artist or whatever. Um, I think everyone has different ideas of what it is. Um, but I guess the thing is to, if you follow your own thing, then it's, uh, then it kind of, it, it, it stays true to what you want. So yeah. it was, yeah, she, she, she put it perfectly. Yeah. Well, uh, these are the, the wonderful press of Australia, Music Press, look at them. Look at They're them. They're great. Aren't they fantastic? <laughs> They're, every one of them has a question for you, but I'm only allowed to take one or two. So I'll just take the first question. Who's got a first question for Courtney Barnett? Ladies and gentlemen. Yep, uh, just here, yes. This fellow, I'll get to you next. Thank you. Uh, well, first of all, congratulations on the win tonight. Thank um, you. I just, I, um, as soon as I found out I was uh, coming to the Aries tonight, I thought I must ask you about this if I get a chance. Uh, a few years ago, you had the chance to play uh, Bob Dylan's guitar. Um, the, the one he played when he first went electric back in 65. Uh -huh. If you can, take us back to... <laughs> I've, I've done my homework. I love this uh, question. <laughs> <laughs> and I love you. So, um, so, yeah, can you take us back to that day, what it was like and how it came about? Yeah, so it was at uh, Newport Folk Festival and um, and it was the whatever year of... Uh, 50, 50 year, maybe? Uh, yeah, it yeah, probably would have been 68, yeah. 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 And, um, I mean, that, that festival has so much history, and then, um, and then you know, that, um, the guitar, they, someone kind of mentioned the guitar thing, and it was, um, I guess it's one of those weird moments that you don't really expect um, at all, but, uh, but something, 
something like that can kind of um, can bring up so much so much his history in a, in a small way. So um, yeah, it was it was a it was a surreal moment, I guess. Hang on, you had the guitar mm. in your lap. Mm. What's it like? What does it sound like? <laughs> well, first of all, I'm left-handed, and it's right hand oh. guitar. And, um, Should have been Jimi Hendrix. I don't guitar. think it was. Yeah, I don't think it was plugged in. So it was a, it was a great photo op. Yeah. And um, and, and um, it, you know, but and the story, <laughs> and then they kind of told the whole story. And the story is, I think, that he played it at that show and then left it. He he caught a plane somewhere and he kind of forgot it. And he left it on the plane, and then he never played it again. Right. So someone kind of picked it up off the plane and was like, "Oh, th here's this guitar." And then, I think a number of years later, someone was like, "Oh, that's the guitar." <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, I did. I saw you at Fairgrounds last year, and you were, I think, playing, um, playing just in, you know, not backing band. You were playing in, in Jens band. Yeah. 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 Second guitar in Jens band. Yeah. Yeah. Do you do that a bit? Um. Yeah. I mean. Um. I played on Jen's last two albums, and um, and then I've kind of played in a, a, a number of other, other bands, yeah. playing second guitar, so yeah. yeah. You're quite happy to step back from the limelight, so to speak. It's, you can really focus on what you're doing on the guitar when you're not singing 100 words. <laughs> <laughs> Man, yeah. All right, any more questions for Courtney, or uh, yes, one down the front, yes. Um, I was just wondering, um, because I know Evelyn was nominated for soundtrack as well, and producing the album um, or releasing the album through Milk, um, does that add an extra element of pride into winning the award tonight? That it is so fiercely independent, and you guys are creating such a great community within that. Yeah, um, it really does. Thank you. It's a great question, and. Um, I kind of started. Uh, I started making notes for speeches, and then I, I just didn't get. Uh, I didn't get anywhere. So when I kind of made a speech tonight, I didn't really say um, all of the things I wanted to say. But um, but I think that that um, you know, starting uh, Milk Records five or maybe six years ago, um, and releasing all my my music through that label. Um, um, has uh yeah I'm really proud of it and and um the community that is built around it I think is um yeah it's it's inspiring to be a part of and to see other artists grow and um and you know I think the Melbourne music scene as well um just the kind of the circles that I've that I've kind of gone around in and um how um People lift each other up, and I guess that happens in any music community. Um, but yeah, it's been, I, I am really proud of it, yeah. Well, congratulations on your win tonight. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Ladies and gentlemen, Courtney Barnett, please. Thank you.